The Way of the Cross, Fifth Station. Simon the Cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Simon the Cyrene came from afar. He knew not the nature of the uproar that at times came to him on the wind. A great feast, he thought. Such was the laughter, shouts, and voices that reached his ears. He drew near. Strong, young, full of life, he was the antithesis of the poor being dressed in a white tunic, the garment of fools, wearing a crown of thorns, covered with blood and wounds, patiently and slowly dragging his cross. The contrast inspired the executioners. They seized Simon the Cyrene to help Christ carry the cross. The Cyrene accepted, at first, perhaps by constraint, but afterward, out of pity. He gained a place in history, and more than this, he conquered the kingdom of heaven for himself. How frequent is this scene? In the course of our life, we see the church persecuted, beaten, slandered, hated, weak, vacillating, agonizing, and sometimes even betrayed by many who claim to be children of light. Whereas in reality, it is divinely strong, like Jesus. But we, with the eyes of our flesh, see only the weakness. So nearsighted is our faith that we discern with difficulty the invincible divine strength that will preserve the church forever. To our eyes, it seems that the church will be defeated and die. Should I put my strength, youth, and enthusiasm in the service of this persecuted one? this slandered one, this defeated one? Of course not. We walk away. We are not sirens. We care only for our interests. We will be prosperous lawyers, rich merchants, prestigious engineers, important doctors, famous journalists, or renowned professors. Only on Judgment Day will we understand what we lost when the Holy Church passed our way and we did not help. Apostolate, 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 apostolate filled with prayer, imbued with sacrifice. It is thus we must be sirens of the Holy Church. My Lord, make us as faithful to this grace as Simon the Cyrene himself. O oh, blessed Cyrene, pray for us. Our Father, hail Mary, glory be. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.